Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday morning, y'all. Missed y'all. And you like, Brian, stop it. You was just on here the other day. Well, it's true. It's just true. All right. Love y'all much. And good morning to you. There's some wisdom that comes unto us today. And that wisdom is delivered unto us from Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the 13th verse. Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the 13th verse. Just one verse of scripture that packs so much revelation and 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 it's dealing with some serious matters here all right proverbs again chapter 18 verse 13 and it reads like this it said he that answereth a matter before he heareth it it is a folly and a shame unto him he that answers a matter before he heareth it it is a folly and a shame unto him all right, I'm going to read it one more time. He that answereth a matter before he heareth it, it is a folly and a shame unto him. We thank the Lord for, for his word that is blessed and powerful. So, so in context, the writer, Solomon, inspired by the Holy Spirit, delivers wisdom to his people, profound wisdom inspired by the holy spirit and in this one verse of scripture when he said he that answereth a matter before he hears it really speaks to the individual that is responding to a thing before he has received the full disclosure of a thing the one that is responding to a thing before receiving the most information that he or she could receive about the thing responding to a thing to respond to a statement that someone has made to us is really a judgment call. Because even if we haven't allowed the person to finish, or if we're dealing with a person who really did not want to give us all of the details, and we need to, we need to put a bullet point right there, whether we have allowed the person to, 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 to complete their statement and we chose to respond, or we're dealing with a person who really hasn't given us all of the information and we choose to respond, in responding, in answering, as the scripture said, again, Proverbs 18, 13, in our response, we have made a judgment call. We have made a judgment call, but, but, but the word of the Lord comes unto us today by way of his word saying, that is foolishness, that is folly, and I want you as my people to stop doing that. Because, because we, we are making major life decisions on the basis of incomplete information naturally and spiritually he said i want you to stop doing that and you say okay well why is the lord so emphatic about the fact that he wants us to stop doing that he said daily in another division of the scriptures he said every day daily my people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge what they don't know what they don't desire to know what they don't allow themselves to be informed of or let's take it a step further for the information that they don't seek out before they make major life decisions. He that answers the matter before he hears it. He said, it is a folly and a shame unto him. As we go forth into this day, beloved, as we go forth into this week, and as we go forth in life, let us commit, make a commitment before the Lord, right? A solemn commitment before the Lord, a covenant with the Lord. I'm going to trust in you and I'm not going to lean into my own understanding. I'm going to acknowledge you, which means, okay, I'm going to inquire of the Lord. But just in terms of business, stop making decisions just because people are pushing you to do so. Understand this, beloved. If a person is emphatic about something that they're desiring for you to do, they're doing it on the basis of what they have been informed of. Whether they got the information from an external source or whether they are delighting in knowledge that has come from within their own selves, whether it is something that is coming from within them. You have people who haven't necessarily been informed by the Lord or been informed from external sources. They are being informed by their own imaginations. And then they're leaning on you to comply with what it is they have either received or think that they have received or what they've imagined. Lord have mercy. You, you got folk that will come to you and will tell you what the Lord told them about you, but didn't consult. They won't even consult with you and even say, are you in sync with this? 
Now the Bible says, how can two walk together except they be agreed? I'm talking about in business, whether you're talking about in relationship, in friendships, in the covenant of marriage, you have this broken mentality, this, this broken philosophy, this broken paradigm. That's the word I was looking for, Jesus. There is a broken, a, a, a fractured paradigm that says, Okay, well, if a person comes to you and they're passionate about, if they're passionate enough about what it is that they believe, whether or not you have gotten the information, we're making life de decisions based on information that a person claims to have, but yet we haven't checked it out. We haven't vetted it. If a person comes to you and says, hey, listen, this is what the Lord showed me about you. You don't make moves, beloved, based on that. Knock it off. Stop it. I love you too much to let you do that. This is what the Lord is saying. Stop that. Don't make decisions based on what people thought that they see because they're things that the devil sees for your life and he will use his puppets, those that are available to his deception to lean on you to make life decisions on the basis of incomplete information. Again, as the text reads, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 13, he that answers, she that answers the matter before you have heard the matter, it will become a shame, a folly and a shame foolishness and shamefulness will come upon the individual that is allowed that is making life decisions and is responding to a matter before you have heard the matter say what's the matter a person has every right to present the matter to you but but we are living in a time where people want to close deals with you on the basis of incomplete information one of the tools that carriers of deception use is they want you to make permanent decisions life decisions, contractual obligations, they want you to come into covenant with them on the basis of incomplete information. Well, let's just use, let's just use a concrete example. It would be a really bad decision to, to walk into a, de a, a dealership. I'm on the way to work right now. I work at a car dealership. It wouldn't be a wise decision for the customer to come and to make a purchase they say some two of the most major purchases that a person will make in the context of their lifetime is in terms of the automobile and the house. Regardless as to which one you choose, the principle remains the same. If you're making a purchase on a home and you have very little information about the home, about the neighborhood, if it's not a new build and you have no information about what, what how it was handled before by the previous owner or the previous owners, if you haven't done the legwork, if you haven't done the research and you just make a, a purchase decision, a major purchase decision, just on the basis of how it looks, you, you listen, that's a foolish decision and it's a shameful decision. The Lord said, you answer in the matter before you hear it. Huh? <laughs> the scriptures even say, we, we have another uh, context in which the word answer is used. It said, money answereth all things according to the flesh. Money answereth all things <laughs> that's in the bible y'all that's in the bible but we're speaking about in this particular context that man or that woman that is responding and making life decisions that's the word of the lord that comes unto us today and said you my people i want you to stop making life decisions on the basis of incomplete information uh oh then he took it a step further there's an escalation there he says stop dealing with people who are trying to push you to make decisions on the basis of incomplete information be careful when you're dealing with folks that want to ask you all the details about your life and won't tell you about their own lives. You can talk to a person and be having a conversation with a person and you talking to them and there is an air or an element of secrecy. It's, listen, let me, let me pause for a moment without really pausing. It is perfectly all right for a person to be private. A person can be as private as they want to be. Shoot, I'm a private person. As long as we are clear about the fact that ain't nobody fitting to enter no covenant with somebody that is clearly holding the bag in terms of information that they ought to disclose. Whether you talk about business or you talk about covenant, if you talk about a person who wants to know all the details about what you got, how much you want to spend, what you did, this, this, that, the next, and the third, and you ask them questions about their business, about themselves, and they're on some whole, oh, I want to tell you all that, understand this. It is within their right to be to, to, to not disclose It's within their right to do that But don't you ever Beloved Beloved He loves us Okay 
He's trying to protect us. Never commit yourselves or come into covenant or come into contract with an individual or individuals who are clearly hiding information. Hmm? And if a person is not comfortable, uh oh, if a person or a group of individuals is not comfortable with disclosing all of the information to you, the individual they claim to want to do business with or they claim to want to be in covenant with, what I heard the Lord say is if they are not of the mind to, to convey all of the information and be full disclosure, he said they should not even be at the table of negotiation until they're ready to disclose all the details of their position and their constitution. A person that, listen, don't nobody apply for a job. That resume needs to be exhaustive. And although we are working with bullet points, unless when you want to be hired for a position that you desire, you have to give information to the individual that you want to hire you. He that answers the matter before he hears it, it will become a folly and a shame unto them. And he said, I'm tired. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He said, my, my sanctified people, blood washed people, Holy Ghost filled people have been duped into believing you can run around the church you can twirl dance speak in tongues but that you don't need the details he said that's why it is written that the children of darkness are wiser than the children of light he said my my people are not supposed to be an ignorant people i'm not supposed to make decisions on the basis of fractured or incomplete information beloved that's the message this morning don't do not enter contract or covenant with somebody that won't give you all the information or is leaving you with a feeling like they hiding something if you feel like they hiding something nine times out of ten they probably are and the, i heard the lord say if they if they are coming to the table of negotiation without a desire to be fully transparent about their position their constitution or their desires as it relates to you and as it relates specifically to themselves because people will tell you all day long about what they want with you. But the truth is, we run into, Lord have mercy. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I, I can, I can tell you, we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. Don't make decisions on the basis of how committed you are to a person. That's only half the information. Don't, don't make decisions on the basis, solely upon the basis of how willing you are to do whatever you want whatever you can do because of how deeply you love a person don't come into covenant with a person on the basis of how, how of, of, of how hard you love or what your capacity for love is don't don't make those decisions solely on the basis of your position without considering the other position what are you working with and if it is hard to know if you are digging, but there's an element of secrecy and obscurity about the individual you're trying to come into business or covenant or relationship with, pump your brakes. Do not close on a deal. Do not come. Don't do not buy. Do not come into any binding agreements until the Lord says until you have until you have heard the matter. Don't answer the matter before you heard it. Don't respond and say, OK, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm in. You in with people who was never in with you. They were in with themselves and they were using you as a pawn in the game. Come on, somebody. The one that answers a matter before he hears it. Oh, Lord, have mercy on this morning. It is become unto them a folly and a shame. We're going to say this again because I'm hearing this bright and bold and loud. Do not come into covenant with folks that you haven't gotten all of the information from. Huh? Uh-oh. Let's flip this around. We was about to close. The Lord said, uh-uh, not yet. Watch this. When you are dealing with a person, if you are the person that is leaning on somebody to make major decisions as it relates to you, but you won't give them, I mean, even basic details about you, basic stuff, but you lean in on, anytime a person will lean on somebody else to make major decisions hmm, without having a mindset to give them all of the information, do you know what that, that that's called manipulation. That says, I don't want you to know all of the details about me, but I'm still claiming, I'm staking my claim in you because I see value in you and I like your stock and I like what it is based on the information I've gotten. But I'm approaching you with a mentality where I'm not going to give you, I'm not going to give you many details. I don't want to give you all of that, but I want all of what you got. That's manipulation. That's a manipulative mindset. You know, you're not dealing with a manipulator when you're dealing with a person who's transparent. When a person is functioning with cover, Many times, a manipulative motive is at work, right? We do want to understand as well, and we also have to bear 
and attest, they'll bear witness and attest to the fact that there are those who are defensive and there are those who are private, right? But depending on what matter of business or, or ministry or, or covenant that you are, are approaching, you understand you can't buy a Mercedes unless, you, unless you're willing to pay the money. Whether you private or not, you got, you got, you got party goers and you got people that don't hardly leave their house. When they're going to go and buy a Mercedes, they understand the money they're about to spend. When a person understands your value, huh? And they understand the value of what it is that they're trying to get to invest in them. They understand that they have to spend, not necessarily money, but they have to be willing to disclose the information that is necessary to make you feel comfortable with the deal, to make you feel comfortable with the covenant. Don't let nobody roll up on you trying to get you to invest, trying to get you to answer a matter before you heard the matter. Why haven't you heard the matter? Because they're not giving you the details. Only thing they're giving you the details is of what they want from you. But no, 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 okay, that's cool. I mean, I'm grateful. Thank you, oh, I'm grateful. But before we get to that point, we have to, as the Lord is showing us in his word, we got to get to a point to where we are informed to make informed decisions, informed decision, get the information from folks and get the information from the Lord. Hmm? Get the information from people, get the information from the Lord, whatever you do, stop making the uninformed decision. He said it would be a folly and a shame unto you. Again, I know we're being redundant this morning, but that's just because of how strongly I feel it. Stop closing on deals, coming into covenant with people, making business decisions without taking the time to get all of the information. Don't want what you want so bad till you're willing to dive into something without getting the information. Don't want a relationship so bad till you don't get the information on the person. It will be hell on earth if you do. Don't come into people, don't come into covenant and sign a dotted line before you have read the fine print. Don't answer the matter before you have fully heard it. I mean to yell at y'all this morning, but ooh, I feel it. I feel it. I love y'all, but Jesus loves you best. Have a blessed day.